guys, so uh, you probably all y'all wondering. Uh, I've been talking a lot about this new project I've had in a secret um, pre-production for like a couple of weeks now. You're probably wondering what this is, what's going on, what's it about, and this video is to talk all about it. So if you want to hear a long, long story, I'm kidding, no. Uh, this is going to be a really quick up kind of video, letting you guys know what this is about, what's going on, and everything you need to know. Okay, so pretty much what is this project? It's called Invisible TI, and it is a modern 20th, 21st uh, century kind of modernized version of the story of Cinderella. Um, we all know Cinderella, we all love Cinderella. It's a very classic Disney story, pretty much anyone that doesn't know it. It's about a girl whose daughter dies, her, lives with her evil stepmother and stepsisters, becomes their maid, and then she wants to go to the ball where the prince is going to get married. She has a grandmother, and her goes, whoosh, gets her some horses for mice to carry from pumpkin. Now she clothes that slipper, she goes to the ball, they fall in love, they dance, midnight strikes is when everything goes push away, and so midnight strikes, she runs out, everything gets turned back into a dreadful form, she goes back into her rags, she loses the shoe and the prince searches around the castles for her, for, with the glass slipper that she lost, she was like trying out on all her feet, and really long time, I'm assuming, um, then she comes to her house, her sister, sisters and mother don't know that it was her, which I can like, I was like, what? How do you not even know that it's her? Like, it's kind of obvious. But whatever. Anyway, tries on the slippers, on the, the stepsisters and the mother, defending them. He's about to leave. When she comes out and says, oh, it's me, they're all laughing. Ha, oh, I can't be you. So it goes on, it's her, the end of the story. Okay. So, yeah. My story is something like that. Um, first of all, it's not like in 100, from 100 years ago, where there were bowls and castles. No, there's no that. There's mansions and there's houses, and that's pretty much it. So pretty much we take all your favorite characters, kind of strip the story down to basics and to everything else. So there are two. There is a girl. Her name's not Cinderella. She has a different name, obviously. Um, whose parents die, and um, she goes to live instead with her stepmother. She lives with her vain young aunt. Her aunt's not really young, but compared to her aunt, she is. Um, she goes to live with her vain aunt and her aunt's two daughters and where they kind of torture her and make her work really hard for like no money at all and she has to kind of take care of herself and not only did we do that, we added a bunch of elements. So we not only did we add, we added, in the, we added a love interest for the aunt, we added in two younger siblings for the main character and we added in, um, we changed around the story so that instead of making it two evil stepsisters we only made one evil sister and one less evil one. Uh, I kind of felt like always that there was always one more evil than the other so I kind of wanted to put that into my own version so I did make one of them more likable um the younger one because I just feel like the younger ones are always nicer <laughs> I don't know um but yeah um and we also I in made it a little more modern so instead of them being at a ball, they meet at school, and there's a twist because, as y'all know, in the story of Cinderella, no one knows who Cinderella is. Everyone knows who the prince is, um, and they fall in love. Instead of that, we switched around and made that that no one knows who the prince is. Uh, I thought that'd be a nice little twist to kind of spice things up. Um, and uh, they do end up dating, and the ball comes up. instead of making the ball, the ball. Like in the original, it does come at the end, and it, but instead of being where they meet and kind of that being the major plot line, it is not. It's a secondary plot line. They do meet and fall in love before the ball, so uh, it's uh, gonna, yeah. So it's, it's kind of the same story, you know, in love, but with a twist. Um, and yeah. Anyway, story is going to be a twenty arc of episodes. It's gonna be about ten to fifteen minutes each. And we have a, I already have started in casting process. We have a couple really great actors and actresses that are interested in uh, being in this, uh, as well as um, some other people who have offered their time and talents and items for free. But that being said, we do still have to pay for uh, locations. We have to pay for the actors. We have to pay for... Um, Props that we can't get for on donation and 
hair and makeup that we can't get in the nation. We have to pay for lighting, pay for equipment. All this stuff costs a lot. Um, so we are going for a budget of about six grand, um, which compared to most web series budgets, it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited really about this. Um, now the reason that I am doing this in yoga is because Cinderella is like one of those classic stories that you not only love, it's classic girl beats boy, uh, girl, it's, it's kind of like the underdog story that you all like, like wish was true about a girl who no one really knew or like cared about who kind of rises up and becomes the princess, you know, like it's every girl's dream to be a princess and like going from an average somebody to a big somebody, it's like what you always dream about. And I think the real story is that it teaches you that you, karma <laughs> really is a you know what, um, and that what goes around comes around and that to be nice and kind to everyone because you never know where you, they'll end up and where you'll end up. So I always, but, so that's why I really want to do this, uh, Neo because I feel like this story has kind of become underrated and kind of become so put back in our minds that cheesy because it's compared to all the newer uh, Disney movies, it's kind of become like more of like a cheesy story. So I kind of wanted to take it back, make it more modern, make it more grown up so that people of all ages can relate to it and kind of reintroduce it to the younger generation so they can kind of get a feel for it and kind of like go like, oh yeah, this is a good story. And then want to actually go watch the older movie and stuff like that and check out the, all the older Disney movies and stuff like that. Um, I feel like once you get to a certain age, you kind of feel like you're too old for Cinderella. And that is not true at all. So I kind of really want to get this out there and get people interested. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, the Indiegogo link will be up um, in, in the description box down below. So definitely go check it out. And uh, please, please, please donate. We are going for a, going to, it's going to be a two month shoot um, in the beautiful sunny LA, which I'm excited about. Um, I do not live in LA, so I will actually be staying there for a bit. Um, but I'm really, really excited. And um, it's going to be my second, I think, second, well, it's not official. It's my unofficial third time, my official second time directing, and my second time actually writing a screenplay. Um, I've done more novels, so it's a little bit of a departure, but I have done it before. And no, I will not be acting this. I can act in my life and I'm not going to play one that torture. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really, really fun and really great. So please, please donate. Even the littlest amount will help so much. Um, we have a lot of fun prizes coming your way. And yeah, so uh, definitely stay tuned. And we'll have a lot more updates coming your way soon. And uh, sorry, it just got like really, really dark all of a sudden. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this web series. It's for you. It'll be premiering in December, which we're really excited about. Uh, some famous names that you may or may not know are kind of interested in this, so it's going to definitely be a good one. So please, 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 please uh, donate and uh, check us out. And yep. Uh, if you guys need more information, as always, you can contact us on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Vine, any of my social media. Or on my go by for social media, go on there every day. Uh, but yeah, uh, please, if you have any questions or inklings or doubts or whatever that, or the, this, that's like one little thing that's kind of keeping you from doing, you can always ask me and I'll help clear up any information. And every little bit counts. The lowest amount that we will take is five dollars. So even five dollars pretty much will help. Um, and even we'll take any amount of money we can get to make this the best production because every little bit really, really does count. Um, and if you guys have anything you would like to donate, whether it's a set you might have, you love in the LA area, you might have some kind of set that we can use and that you will let us come out and use it, uh, or you got any props or costumes or makeup or whatever you got that you want to donate, uh, please contact me via my, uh, business email and using, put in the subject, uh, donation and then put uh, whatever that thing is, that co a colon, and put whatever you're donating towards. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, we are officially going to be start filming in October, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah, and if anyone is interested in being part of this 
project as well. You always can contact me on my social media and let me know and I'll what works for me out. Uh, you do not have to be an alien for most of the jobs, by the way, um, or in the areas that we are going to be filming. You could be anywhere. Uh, I know a lot of people think that's a big issue, but it's not. You don't actually have to be in there for certain jobs. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.